Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Chris, aka Spirit. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You'll notice my setup's a little bit different this year. I decided to do the burning of the sage and singing of the Tibetan bowl prior to recording and also laying out the cards first so that you guys can get the most benefit of the video. So here we go. So thank you first and foremost for coming to the channel. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. I also want to remind you if you are subscribed and have been with me for a while, you might want to go check and make sure the notification bell is checked off so that you're alerted when I put up new content or go live. A lot of people have been complaining they haven't known that I put up new videos because it's been a while and I just alerted them I found this out with the changes that went on while I was on a break. So just FYI. So the first thing I want to say as I'm getting ready to do this reading for you, this is for the water signs for the week of, let's see, February 8th to the 14th or 15th. Let me look. Give me one second. I want to say it's the 14th yes the 8th to the 14th nope the 8th to the 14th yes so first off I, as I was shuffling the deck I was getting a lot of throat chakra issues going on so whomever I'm speaking to in the water signs make sure that you are speaking your truth and speaking up and standing up for yourself that's what they're telling me okay so this is for water signs just cancer Pisces and Scorpio I know this by heart because I'm a cancer so the first row are the Sacred Traveler deck. The second row are the Seven Energies deck. The third row are the Angels and an extra one fell out, so I took it. And then the last card here is the Animal deck. So we're gonna read from the bottom up and these are the messages for the week for you. This is a first for me. This is the first time I've ever done this on YouTube and this will be my first week posting. Every week will you have, every week you will have an outlook if it resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, go and look where you fall on the chart. It might be another sign. You might want to go watch that, okay? I am usually not time-specific because time's illusion, but this is what Spirit wants me to do now going into the new year, so this is what I'm doing. Okay, first card for you guys in Water Sign, Life Review. Now, Archangel Jeremiah is saying, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. This is the whole purging things that no longer serve you. This is really important. Now I know for me as a Cancer, this has been a very big deal for the last four months for me. It's knowing what to release into the universe and knowing what to keep, knowing what you will accept and what you won't, okay? Remember who you are. Archangel Michael, you are a powerful, loving creature and a child of God, you are very loved. For those of us in the collective here, for the water signs, we tend to have a struggle with self-worth, right? Not being seen, not being unconditionally loved. He's reminding you that you are loved. Um, call upon him when you need that guidance and help. Now, the third card that flew out that they told me I needed to take is Clairaudience, which is really interesting. It is the card from uh, Archangel Zadikiel. It says notice or Zach kill. I can never say that word, but notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. This is the card that comes out symbol symbolizing um, when you have your tribe family around you. This is what I call it or your angels around you in life, right? Angels that are living that walk around people who are very focused on positivity and pushing forward who are actually helping you to see your worth. That's what they're telling me. Okay, so now the seven energies card are one of the only decks I ever read from the uh, book. But before I read from the book, I'm gonna tell you what I get from the symbolism of the deck and then we'll read the definition. Um, I do that a lot. So like this quieting the mind has never come out in a reading yet because this deck is new. But the symbolism of this card for you is about meditation and commitment to yourself and your self-worth and your healing and knowing the power of you. That's what this card, that's what they're telling me to tell you. And it's really funny. So here we go again with a lotus. So if you go to my other readings that I uploaded for the week, I keep talking about this lotus crystal um, candle holder that was gifted to me many, many years ago. How spirit was guiding me and pushing me to put it out on the table today. And in the last three readings, there was a card with a really huge lotus on it, just the lotus. 
and this is a different card and it has the same pretty much the same lotus so i just wanted to signify that so i'm about to read this to you so water signs life is chaotic busy loud frantic and overwhelming some days all the noise is like the roar of thunder echoing around you and it feels like you're being pummeled by a rainstorm so this is for the coming week and for the remainder of the month they're telling me isn't this why we take vacations to get away to somewhere peaceful in spite of the surrounding din of the world today you need to slow down and find a bit of peace so go ahead and take a deep breath right now and make a commitment to be still if only for five minutes count your breaths and be mindful of every one of them know that you have all the time in the world to do the things that you need doing everything is perfect as it is our core beliefs about the world originate in our thoughts and feelings which then become our perceptions if our thoughts are all over the place that is how we will experience the outer world but what if your outer world didn't matter at all what if at our center there were a place that is always calm where the mind doesn't have a million things to say where problems and challenges aren't challenges aren't nearly as important as we think they are today requires you and i'm saying this week requires you to take an internal break and go to the silent space of to regroup meditate on the stillness within choose a peaceful mind and nothing else you will be amazed at how easily everything falls into place once you do so if you don't know how to meditate or you don't meditate praying will do if not you can go out into the outside and put your feet in the ground and just sit there and let your brain be silent and just take in all the beauty of life it's what you feel comfortable with but this is super important right now because we tend to get really stuck in our own conditioning and we don't nurture the soul okay we have a million things going this week and we won't slow down slow down that's what they're saying now the open to discovery card is a card that i have seen prior to this reading what i love about this card is that it's about it's about the universe it's about information it's about um every day things that are around us like one of the things i told someone in a private reading the other day was um a lot of people can't understand why we talk a lot about numbers and animals when we do universal signs but see mother earth gaia speaks not english not language because language is linear it's a human 3d condition gaia the earth the universe speaks in the animals that they can use the universe and gaia can use to relay messages to you as well as numbers and sequences that can relay messages to you so i just had to tell you that because that's what they're telling me okay so we're going to read this to you and it's a beautiful universal card look at that it's just stunning we tune into information from our outer, outer environment and then assign meaning to it with within our psyches every day however the amount of data we sort through exceeds what we're capable of processing this is huge for people like myself and i feel like a group of you water signs will relate to this with PTSD or ADHD or ADD or bipolar or schizophrenia or personal, uh, what do they call it? It used to be called multiple personality disorder. It's called them something else now. Especially since the, especially since the creation of the internet, we have been bombarded with more than we could ever hope to absorb. Therefore, it's important to be mindful of what we expose ourselves to. Consistent exposure to unhealthy messages invites us into cynical fear-based worldview. On the other hand, conscious exposure to information supporting our well-being shifts us toward growth and expansion. The choice, though, is not always obvious. It's not always obliviously ours, which is why we must be discerning on a daily basis. The universe is always engaging us. We are part of it. After all, through synchronicity, omens, and other signs that point toward our best path, our intuition helps us tune in and see our environment like an oracle. However, this new information doesn't always make sense right away, so being curious and non-resistant is key to learning. Today and this week, be open to receiving important information that may come from an unusual source. 
The universe wants to help you, but recognize the way this aid will arrive depends on your willingness to shut out superficious noise. Superfluous noise, sorry. Maybe you need to take a break from social media, gossip, or the news this week. Don't let yourself get distracted. Listen without attachment and see what arises in your life. Expect a message from the universe and you shall have it. So I feel like some of you in the water signs are going to see signs around you, either animals or numbers, that are going to be significant in your journey right now. Okay, especially this week. Now the ears wide open is funny that that this is not a coincidence okay this is how spirit wanted it to come out because originally when i shuffled this this card was over here and they made me move it so this is definitely in sequence because next to the opening to discovery and what i just explained the ears wide open is listening and seeing the signs around you see the wolves i mean the wolf the fox's ears right the universe stars around him that's why so let's look at that card ears wide open Sorry, Pugsley just moved, so I was wondering if he was right behind my wheel. I don't want to run him over. The world is constantly speaking to us and offering clues about what is really going on beneath the surface of things. We all have the capacity to hear beyond the noise that reaches our ears. The challenge is when we feel misunderstood and unheard, when we feel insignificant, it's easy to overexplain ourselves in an attempt to get acknowledgement. Now is the time to let go of all that this week and the rest of the month offer your attention as the great gift it is it's time to stop multitasking checking your phone thinking of what you're going to say next and doing all the other things that keep you from connecting fully whenever you are in the state of chaos and distraction paying attention to only some of what is being said we lose the ability to pick up on everything including that which is not being said this is one of those things they want me to tell you is about when I say all the time in my readings and on my pages and stuff about actions speak louder than words and body language especially speaks louder than words. I don't know why they're telling me to tell you that for this week, but they are. Deep listening is the way in which we immerse ourselves in the truth of the world. In this way, with ears wide open, we always op also open our hearts and minds to understand more than what is conveyed through words alone. Opportunities arise from subtle clue cues we miss when we are not 100% present. Purposeful, open listening is an act of true respect and intimacy. When you are in the space of receptivity, letting go of the need to be heard or to be right, you become expansive and alert to the meaningful potential. Right now, keep your ears wide open and you will find more than you were searching for. What a beautiful message stunning message for this week so then you got the miracles card the wandering path the watching the clouds clouds and the courage so during this week you're going to get through all of this you're going to go through this you're going to you're going to see things differently i keep seeing this i keep seeing you seeing things differently and reacting differently with people the miracles is about just just stopping and smelling the flowers seeing the blessings in your life Instead of focusing on the stress at work, the stress of things breaking, the stress of people stressing you out, like all the things we worry about. And you're actually going to have a different perspective this week. And the wandering path is about enjoy enjoying life. Like we move along so fast at a fast pace, sometimes we don't enjoy things the way we should, okay? Watching the clouds, lie back, rest and relax. This is taking breaks. This is being kind to yourself. This is not being so hard on yourself. And then the last card is courage, valiant courage. Take action with passion. I feel like somewhere along the way this week, some of you who are in, um, this is this is funny. So this hasn't really come out very much in this, this reading. However, they're telling me to tell some of you in the collective for the water signs that if there is somebody that is in your, in your path, meaning you're single and there's somebody that is your friends with or you just met or you'll meet this week i think this is majority of people who already met somebody that you're friends with and have like a special connection with that you might have the courage to tell them that you like them more than a friend or to move along in the process of the relationship that's what they're telling me and then the last card in this reading for you guys is the beautiful cute little otter oh i love the otter 
And this is not surprising when it's the water sign. Uh, because outer tends to come out a lot when I do water sign readings. And I will read to you what the... Um, I'm going to put it down for a minute. I'll read to you what the sign says. Just give me one second. Obviously, it is a water sign for water right so duh why wouldn't it come out for cancer because cancer pisces and scorpio are water right but it comes out a lot for water signs and i'm not surprised so this is you so it's it's playfulness it's unobstructed joy it's contentment okay for this week perhaps the most joyful creature within the animal spirit deck the otter represents absolute bliss otter energy is the playfulness of a child available to us at any age they have a giddiness and reverence for life itself without the presence of doubt, worry, or skepticism. Imagine yourself with a little more otter energy. What would life look like? What would it take to bring you there? The otter card begs these questions and wants to transport us to that precious place as soon as possible. The celebration awaits. So for those of you who are out of balance right now, it means that you're stuck on worrying about the gloomy, gloom and doom, uh, making excuses not to do things that you want to do because you're just in a funk. Those of you who are in balance, it's a point of being super grateful and full of love and giving and just being the best person you can be. And then for those of you who want to bring yourself into balance, you need to do something for yourself, whether it's meditation, go and do something with a friend, go shopping, window shopping, go to the movies, do something to embrace the love for yourself and what's around you in your life go and take your animals somewhere go and get a new animal go and get a fish go and get a turtle there's so many things you can do that will warm your heart so water signs this has been your reading for this week coming up i hope that this has resonated with some of you that are watching this please make sure you hit the like video if you like this video and want to see this every week um, if you are interested in a private reading or joining my private Patreon group, please look at the links below. We'd love to have you. Uh, I have several windows open for some of the tiers over there. And once I reach 20 patrons over there, I will be doing a once a month, maybe once every two weeks, uh, Q&A video or live readings. I'm not really sure. It just depends. So please feel free to do that. Don't forget to hit the subscription button if you haven't already and i really genuinely thank you for coming to my channel i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and we'll see you next week bye